Hi everybody, this is Ryan and this is lesson 8 of learning HTML and CSS. In this lesson we'll be learning how to comment your code. So a comment is an invisible note that you can place within your code that will not be displayed on the web browser. So let's begin by launching this file. We're going to open our file up lesson8.html and you'll notice it looks quite attractive which means it's actually making use of our presentation layer some CSS so let's have a look at the code we have a link tag which is used to link to an external document and it's the type is a CSS document and we're linking to lesson8.css then within the body content remember the HTML is the structure of the document I have a main heading and two paragraphs so within the CSS file lesson8.css I have created two rules one I'm selecting all the h1 tags and I'm setting the color to orange and I'm changing the font family to comic sans there's the Comic Sans orange font. Um, notice that because the font name contains spaces in the name of the font, we put the whole font name enclosed inside of double quotation marks. And then note the paragraph is green and it's Arial. So both both paragraphs will then turn green and Arial. Okay, so Commenting is done differently in HTML to how it's done in CSS. So we'll show you both beginning with HTML comments. There you can see how you begin a comment in HTML. A less than sign followed by exclamation mark followed by two dashes. Then notice how the color of the remainder of the coding has changed. this symbolizes that this is all now commented out. So let me complete the comment. I'll say something like Now to end the comment you put two dashes followed by a greater than sign. And that does not have to be on the same line which means you can end it off a little bit further down and continue your note. Okay, so the comment can span over as many lines as you want as long as it begins with that symbol and ends with that symbol. Okay, now I save the document and I hit the refresh button you'll see that you cannot see that those comments it's totally invisible uh, it is possible of course to view the source now remember in Firefox or Chrome to view the source you press Control U um, in Internet Explorer you just hit the view menu and you say page source or source and there you can see the source of the document and included in that source is actually the comment that we created so I wouldn't put anything of a sensitive nature in the comments because if someone really wants to they can view that comment by looking at the source of the web page. But it is useful for developers because they can go back to their code that they wrote a few months back or a few years back and be reminded of why they did certain things. It's also useful if you're working in a multi-developer environment where it's not just you working on the code but maybe one of your colleagues as well and they may make a change and if they put a comment in the code to document that change it makes it easier for you when you come along and also work on the same code and vice versa. Another way we can use comments is by temporarily blocking out certain content. So now I've temporarily hidden 
that first paragraph. So if I refresh, you'll see that paragraph disappears. And to make it come back again, it's just a simple matter of removing the comment. So sometimes it's useful if someone is not sure of a change they wish to make, but they want to maybe test it out without losing any of the work done before. You could just comment out that particular area of the document. And if they realize, oops, they made a mistake, it's a very simple matter to uncomment it again and content will reappear. Okay, so that is how we use comments in HTML. Now let's take a look at the CSS. So within CSS, we use a different um, opening and closing markers to designate the start and the end of the comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this over here. Notice we start with a forward slash and an asterisk or star. And when we finished, we want to end with a reverse, the star and the forward slash. Notice the color coding. Um, so what I've done here is I've disabled the color on the heading. The font is still there, it should still be Comic Sans, but the color should no longer be there. You can see it's gone to the default color, which is black. Um, I could do the same thing to somewhere else within the document. So for example, I could change the font family, I could take that out temporarily. So it's orange, but it's now the default of Times New Roman instead of Comic Sans. Okay. The other way you can use comments, of course, is to just take notes, saying something like uh, style rules for all paragraphs. Get into the habit of, of using comments. Obviously, for things that are the obvious, don't waste your time putting a comment in. I mean, it's pretty obvious that these are style rules for all paragraphs. Um, but for things that are maybe less obvious, it's a good idea to put in comments. It will help you when you revisit your code um, much later down the line. And it will also help other people that need to look at your code, understand your code. And so ends our lesson in working with comments.